With the latest update to Omniverse, a really exciting extension was added to Isaiah Sim that lets you control character animation behaviors through a list of commands. It also introduces a nav mesh for path planning the characters, although it can be a little finicky at the moment. With a small amount of scripting, I was able to have the characters follow a moving goal without a separate file. The extension is available on GitHub to download now and should be available in the extension menu soon. We will go over three main steps to get our scene set up creating a nav mesh, adding characters, and enabling the extension. Before we can do this, go to Window, Extensions, and search for Viewport, Navigation, and People. In step one, we will create a plane that will be the surface on which our characters walk by going to Create Mesh Plane. Scale it up so there's enough space for the characters to move. I picked a scale of 50. In the Stage menu, Right click on the world X form and navigate to create navigation nav mesh volume. You should see a blue surface appear on the plane with a large green box in the scene. If not, select the eye icon in the viewport, then show by type and select the option under navigation. This box is the volume used for the nav mesh, so we can just scale it to the included area we want. To change some settings of the nav mesh, we go to window navigation and select nav mesh. A window should appear with the settings for the agent. Here I have mine set to a height of one and a radius of 0.5 units. In step two, now that we have a nav mesh, let's populate the scene with some people. Under the content menu, navigate in the Omniverse folder to NVIDIA Assets Isaiah 2022.2.0 Isaiah People Characters. Here you will see a few folders with pre configured agents and a required biped setup. First, drag the biped setup.usd file onto the world X form in the stage. Next, open any of the folders that you would like to add to your scene. For each folder, drag the USD file onto the world stage X form. At this point, the blue nav mesh is a little jarring, so I will change the viewport settings to just not render it. I will also hide the biped setup X form. Add as many characters as you want, moving them away from the origin as necessary. At this point, we can press play and the characters don't move. In your case, they might idle, but they don't go anywhere. The final step is to enable the walking extension by going to Window, Extensions, Third Party, and find and enable the cyborg.simulate.walk extension. A new window should pop up with just one button called Add Walk since the only thing this extension can currently do is add a walk goal. Now in the stage, expand the X form for each character you want to add a walk to. Then expand the man root X form. By holding control, I select each scale root that I want to add a walk goal to and press the add walk button of the extension. This does three things. First, it adds an animation graph attribute referencing the biped setup. It then adds a Python scripting attribute and assigning each character a behavior script. Finally, it adds a goal X form to each character that you can use to move the characters, or even animate the goal to move the characters automatically. That wraps up this intro video. I hope this helps you getting started in controlling virtual agents. In the future, I will walk through the code on how this walk extension was built.